In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 9. We're now on Section 4, Calculator Permitted. And so this is the longer section. We know the questions really don't get difficult until the 20s. And so take advantage of these early questions. Number one, what value of x satisfies the equation 3x plus 3 equals 27? So we just have to solve for x here. And we can just subtract 3 from both sides. We get 3x equals 24. And x is simply 8. So pay attention. Sometimes the question might ask for something besides the variable. It might be like x plus 3, and you'd have to solve for that. But this one just asked for x, so the answer is b. All right, let's take a look at question 2. Two units of length used in ancient Egypt were cubits and palms, where one cubit is equivalent to seven palms. The great Sphinx statue in Giza is approximately 140 cubits long, which upon best approximates the length in palms of the great Sphinx statue. And so this is a, just a unit conversion question. And one cubit equals seven palms. The great sphinx is 140 cubits. And so we would just multiply 140 by seven. It's the calculator permitted section. So let's just do that now. And so that would be equivalent to 980 palms D. All right, let's take a look at number three. If 2n over 5 equals 10, what's the value of 2n plus minus one? So here's an example. They're not just asking for n. But 2n minus 1, you have to solve for that. And just pay attention. So the first step is I'm going to multiply both sides by 5 to clear this denominator. So on the left, I get 2n equals 50. And then to get 2n minus 1, we subtract 1 from both sides. 50 minus 1 is 49b. All right, last question on this page, number 4. If the square root or square root of the square of x squared equals x, which of the following is not a solution to the equation above. And this is an important concept. It comes up a little bit later sometimes. If you ever have a question where you have a solution set, pay attention with square roots because they've been testing this on recent exams. So let's say, for example, you had a problem and you had the square root of 36. And it's usually like a Roman numeral. Like, is this true or is it more than one true? And then you see and six, and then you see negative six. And some students think, well, both of these would be correct because isn't the square root of a number, in this case 36, wouldn't it be plus or minus six? No, the square root means that it the solution is only non-negative. That's called the principal square root. So it could be zero, ha it has to be, or positive, it cannot be negative. So Square root of 36 does not equal negative 6. Just keep that in mind. And so right away, if you know this, you could see, well, all these other ones could be true because we know the square root of, of any number squared is that number. And so all of these would be, this would be the square root of 0 equals 0, square root of 1 equals 1. And this would be the square root of 9, which is 3, equals 3. All of these work. But the square root of 16, which is negative 4 squared, only equals four, not the non-negative solution. So just keep that in mind. So the answer here is A.